All right. <sighs> Hopefully this is the last little bit of negativity surrounding Super Mario 3D All-Stars, although not entirely Nintendo's fault. And this is something that commonly happens uh, seemingly at certain retailers without fail. Um, it, it, it's just it's baffling to me that we in 2020 have not figured out a better way to not let this happen. But retailers are always trying to jump the gun. Before I get into it, we are giving away three copies of Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Go to the Gleam.io link down in the description to enter for that. Winner announced October 1st, or winners announced October 1st. Also, we're giving away a Switch Lite, and then two second-place winners get Nintendo Switch games of choice. Uh, we have a laundry list of ways to enter down in, uh, below, including subscribing to the channel and a whole bunch of other uh, stuff you guys can check out to, to enter for that contest as well. Winners for that are announced on October 1st as well. All right. Let's look at what's happening in the landscape of Super Mario 3D All-Stars. We've had quite a bit of news, or at least quite a bit of speculation, quite a bit of uh, interesting things. We know the game comes out this Friday. We know that its pre-orders are sold out basically everywhere, at least in the United States. There are still some retailers in other countries accepting pre-orders. We know that Base.com, a UK retailer, canceled all pre-orders because Nintendo couldn't guarantee them that they would get more games basically uh the the stock the amount of stock they are getting are way lower like extremely lower they use the words woefully low in comparison uh and we also know uh that other retailers uh, are stating that they might get a second shipment but they're not sure about a third shipment uh we know nintendo has officially stated that they are making this game available physically and digitally until march 31st some people are under the assumption that just means a digital version is available to them physical and sooner i have no idea i would think nintendo wants to keep you know the physical in stock at least through this holiday period because that's a lot of sales that they would just be giving up for no you know no reason uh but what's worse is if you secured a pre-order or there was a GameStop, which we linked to GameStop pre-order before and Amazon pre-orders and stuff. We, we've linked to ways to pre-order this game before. Uh, it, it's interesting because GameStop pre-orders are getting canceled for some people. Not everyone, of course. This happens every time. Best Buy, Amazon, uh, everyone, all, all, all the retailers that took pre-orders for this game are, are getting cancellations. I have seen uh, several people contact me privately and freaking out that their pre-order is canceled. What happens is Amazon, Best Buy, GameStop, Target, Walmart, whatever, they get they take pre-orders. And they take their pre-orders based on an expected amount of games that they are going to get. So they expect a certain amount of games sent to them. Uh, Nintendo might have gave them, they gave them this expectation or the expectation is based on other prior big Nintendo game releases, right? So they're able to gauge that. They can, they, they can do also things like gauge the amount of, of views a trailer has or that and determine this is going to be a really popular game. Obviously, we know uh, that the uh, Super Mario 35th Anniversary Direct had, you know, millions upon millions upon millions of views. So naturally, a lot of these people, a lot of these uh, outlets, you know, they, they, they go to order, you know, because they prepay for these games. They go to order them, and they assume they're going to get their full order. They assume, hey, if we order, you know, 100,000 copies of this game, we presume we're going to have 100,000 copies available for pre-order. Or they make a certain amount available for pre-order, a certain amount available for store shelves. And then it happens. Nintendo gets back to them and says, hey, we're not actually going to ship you your full order because we don't have enough. We didn't make enough. We don't think it's actually going to sell that much. And that leads to these retailers having to cancel pre-orders. Now, you could argue the retailers shouldn't take pre-orders until they can confirm how many copies they're going to get. But we all know retailers are in a race against each other to get your business. And not all games like 3D All-Stars are going to sell out. As an example, Age of Calamity is still readily available to pre-order at most retail outlets. I can't think of one that hasn't sold out yet. Uh, and, you know, there was a race to, to get that pre-ordered you know you want to be one of the first companies to get those pre-orders up there are companies attempting to take pre-orders for xbox series x's and s's even though microsoft has publicly stated they're not available to pre-order till the 22nd so like any company that's taking pre-orders now is being a little shady they don't even know how many units they're going to get they might end up with one you know we you don't know so they shouldn't really be taking those pre-orders and that's maybe why microsoft put a date on it because they want to give time to give retailers uh an opportunity uh, to know how many units they're going to have to even throw out for pre-orders. But that's a conversation for a different video. We'll be talking about Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 later today uh, because I want to talk about, you know, which one of those systems I plan to get, why, uh, things you should consider when, when buying one, etc. 
But I am frustrated when you see these pre-orders get canceled. This happens every time. Any major game that's sold out is going to have a bunch of pre-orders canceled. So you wake up today. You know, you wake up tomorrow. Heck, you wake up the day of launch. It might find an email sitting in your inbox saying, hey, sorry, we can't fulfill your order. Or, hey, this is this is almost worse. Uh, we know you pre-ordered, but mm, your your shipment's been delayed till October. Your shipment's been delayed till November. They just give some tentative date on when they think they're going to have more copies in. Uh, Amazon does this sometimes. And it, it gets really frustrating. But this is where I remind you guys. I just did a video on this yesterday. It's where I have to remind you that if your pre-order got canceled, you don't need to panic yet. You don't need to panic. It doesn't mean you can't get a physical copy on launch. I'm going to keep singing this till the cows come home. Go to your local retail outlets on launch. Be there when the store is open, and you might be able to nab a copy. Walmarts especially will have copies on store shelves at least when the store opens. I know right now because of the pandemic, they're not 24 hours, so it's not like you can go in the store, you know, and wait. You know, like like for Wii U, I, I was at uh, I was like eight hours before midnight. I went in. I was first in line for a Wii U inside the store. Got to wait for it. Wasn't a big deal. I had a good time. I played some 3 3DS. I think. Um, and whatever, I, I just had a lot of fun uh, sitting there and conversing uh, with the, the employees about Nintendo goodness and then obviously other Nintendo fans as they came to line up for Wii U. Uh, so you, it doesn't look like you'll be able to do that this time around. Now, you might be able to line up outside the store, but I don't know if there's going to be a, that kind of line right now. With a pandemic and everything, I'm not so sure that lines are going to be a huge deal, although if you're in a city uh, you know, or, or a really densely populated area, obviously there's a high chance there might be a line for people trying to get it. And some of those people are going to be scalpers. Let's just be honest. Some are going to be scalpers. I say try not to give the scalpers too hard of a time. Um, some retail uh, employees are attempting to limit the amount of copies that a scalper can buy or that anyone can buy. Uh, some stores won't. But all I know is don't give them too hard of a time. I know that we most of us hate scalping culture. Uh, it just makes things harder for legit consumers. But to be honest... They're a customer just like you and I, and anyone can do anything they want with the copy of the game that they buy. They want to resell it, they resell it, it's their right. So don't give them too hard of a time. Now, if they're trying to buy out all the copies at the register, all right, that's a little extreme. Um, and I hope that employees, you know, put a stop to that. Like if a scalper is first in line, hopefully Walmart doesn't just say, yeah, you can buy all 30 copies on the shelf, it's cool. Like, I hope they don't, they, they don't do that. Um, and Hopefully, with the number of people there, maybe the scalper might feel a little guilty. Or maybe you'll end up making the scalper feel great, knowing the demand for it. Oh, man, I'm going to make so much money reselling these. That's why I always say try not to buy scalped copies online because you're just uh, you know supporting that. I understand that some people don't have the patience and they're going to do it. Like, I can't wait. i got to spend the 10 extra bucks. And if it's only 10 extra bucks, that's not too bad. But, I mean, let's be honest. They're going to be listed for $100. I, I, I'm just sorry. I'm sorry that you guys' pre-orders get canceled. I'm sorry that this is just the way the world works. But, again, show up at the stores early. I mentioned Walmart, and I know not everyone likes Walmart. But Walmart and Nintendo have a deal. All right? All Nintendo games at launch and really after launch, if they're $60 games, release at $49. So about $10 off at Walmart. This is this has been true for uh, since sometime in 2019 there was a deal struck. It didn't really go public with it. It wasn't like this big hullabaloo. But it's been known for a while that Walmart has the games for $10 cheaper anyways. And the goal is, obviously, for Walmart, their benefit is they don't make a lot of profit. So basically, Walmart cuts off their profit on the game um, to get you into the store. So they don't actually lose any money when you buy the game. But they figure you're in Walmart. You're going to walk by a whole bunch of stuff you might need or want to buy. And you're going to end up buying more stuff anyways. You're not going to come in for just the game. That's what, how Walmart can justify cutting out their, their, their uh, profit on it. And so it's actually this nice deal that Walmart and Nintendo has in place. So it's a good place to get games anyways. Some people have been getting their games for 10 bucks off there for a long time. Now, you have to go in person to get it. We're not talking online purchases because it's an in-person incentive to try to get you into the store. Uh, but, yeah. So, again, you can still get your hands on it. You can still get your hands on it. I understand it's very, very disappointing to see pre-orders get canceled. And I obviously wish retailers wouldn't take more pre-orders than they get. Sometimes it is on the company's fault like nintendo's fault because sometimes they don't even let retailers know until like you know three days basically when the shipment arrives that you're not going to have enough um but uh yeah it's 
it's an unfortunate part of pre-order culture. And even if you got your pre-order in right away, I, I, I know one person in particular that literally when 3D All-Stars was like still going on in the direct, they went to, uh, I think, BestBuy.com and got a pre-order in. Their pre-order has been canceled. They were one of the first people to pre-order and they got canceled. So I don't know how they handle these canceled pre-orders. They do it based on, obviously, who ordered last. In this case, that wasn't the, the obvious, that wasn't the case. But maybe they, they did it based on, you know, random selection. Um, you know, just little ra randomly in the, in the computer, oh, randomly cancel, randomly cancel. It's just a computer program. I don't know, but I do know that uh, it's unfortunate, but you still have a chance. You still have a chance. I personally do not have a pre-order in for this game. My plan is to be at Walmart at opening this Friday to get it. Now it's a little difficult. My kids at school, <laughs> so there's a little finagling that has to happen to pull it off, but my plan is to be there. And getting it on Friday. Now, obviously, it doesn't happen. I'll just buy it digitally. But uh, I prefer a physical copy. In, in this particular case, I do like digital games. But I prefer a physical copy just because of the collector's value on this one. It's a very nice game to just have, even if it's open, just to have. Um, then say, hey, this is part of a collection. It was a limited run. It's cool. And I finally get to play, um, you know, finally get to, you know, like fully explore Delfino Island. Because I only played it a little bit as a kid. So, anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. Whew. Hopefully some more positive videos come in the rest of your day. Have a good one.